Hey everybody, welcome to Know Your PC, I'm Bob. And I'm Alou, as you can see we are out of Studio D, we are on location. That's right, we're at Studio H, the home of the Smiths. And today we're gonna show them how to install a wireless network. All right, so we're gonna do that right now and let's head on in and look, they have Cooper and Tucker over here. Come on babies. All right, so they're going to stay out here while we go inside and take care of the wireless network, okay? That's right, we'll see you inside. This is... Wow, this is really nice. I could really see myself living in a place like this. Um, darling, the internet isn't working. Be a dear and fix it for me, would you? Oh, thanks ever so much. Mm. Bob. Bob. Uh, yes, darling. Bob. Uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Let's set up the wireless internet for the Smiths, all right? Okay. All right, let's go find the office. Um, try this way. Found it. All right, here we are in the Smiths office. We've got our computer here. Looks like we are running the HP Pavilion Slimline, which is a small form factor PC. All the same stuff as your big towers, but brought into this neat compact package, which is awesome. Looks like, oh, we're running Windows Vista, okay? We also have DSL modem right here, connected hardwired to our PC. Now, FYI, this will also work if you have a cable modem. We're using DSL, but it'll work with a cable modem. So now we're going to show you how to set up your wireless network with a router. Great. Okay, it's a simple three-step process, all right? You're gonna to want to buy a router. You're gonna to wanna to connect your router to your modem. Then you need to run the software from your router to set it all up. Okay. Okay, you also need a broadband network. This will not work with dial-up. No dial-up. Okay, so we are using the Netgear Wireless NWNR3500. Nice. Okay, so there are similar uh, routers out there, but the setup process is not exactly the same. So make sure you follow the instructions that came with your router, and your router may or may not come with an Ethernet cable, but you okay. will need that. This one comes with one. So the nice thing about the Netgear is that it comes with this installation CD mm -hmm. that takes you from beginning to end. It even tells you when to, you know, connect the cables. Okay. Okay, so just let it do that for you. You also want to make sure that you do not unplug your internet connection because you will need it as part of this process. That's why they call it the wizard. Okay. All right, so why don't you open that up? Okay. Look for the uh, CD in there. We're going to install that. Just another reminder here that you will need to find and write down your ISP account information. Okay, that means your internet service provider account information. You will need the username and passphrase. If you don't have it or you can't find it, call up your ISP, your internet service provider, and ask them for all that information that they gave you when you first set up your account. That's right, the Smiths wrote theirs down for us so we could set it up. They even have tech support just in case we have to call. The number right here. They made all it right. easy for us. Nice. Once you install that CD, it says preparation before okay. you start. It goes through a few guidelines that we've already gone over. Click next. Next. Now it is reading the current setup. It's going through a few steps here. That says network adapter, connection, modem detected, and internet connection. It's checking to see if we have all those. I think the Smiths are all set up. Then it says router stand. I am standing it up. All right, after you do that, you click next. Okay, next. Number two, router connections. This is when you unplug the modem. All right, so I am going to unplug the modem from the back. This is the power cord connection. I'm unplugging it. Next, it says install router. So you're going to unplug the ethernet cable from the modem. Now do not remove the cable from the computer. So just from the modem? Yeah, from the modem, there's an ethernet port. You're going to pull the ethernet cable Okay, so this the is the port. ethernet cable on the back of the modem. I'm unplugging the ethernet cable. Okay, do not remove the one from your computer. Right, still attached to the computer. From there, you will insert the cable that is still attached to the computer into the router's ethernet port. So I'm plugging in the ethernet cable into the ethernet port. Right there. Okay. okay. Now you're going to connect the Ethernet cable uh, to the internet port on the new router. Okay, so this is our uh, extra Ethernet cable provided by Netgear, and I'm going to take the cable out, and I'm going to plug into the internet port with the Ethernet cable. Now you're going to take the other end of this cable, okay. the Ethernet cable, and you're going to insert it into the landline of the modem. This end of the Ethernet cable goes into the LAN port of the modem. Clicked in there, good. Thank you. <laughs> Click next. Next. Okay, so here it says power the modem back on. Verify that the modem status lights show that it is still turned on. Okay, so I'm taking the power cord and putting it back into the modem, plugged it in. So you want to wait a couple of minutes, okay, for it to start uh, up and you'll see the lights starting to uh, flash there. 
Okay. Alright, so then take the adapter right there. This is the power adapter that I will plug into the wall. Okay. Excuse me, I'm going plugging. Alright. Plugged into the wall, and I'm going to run the cable up the back here. Oops, sorry. And down on the bottom here, you can see there is the power connection area. Boom. Plugged in. Okay, so to just to tell you what we did here, we disconnected the modem from the PC. We connected the modem to the router. Then we connected the router to the PC. So Malou, I thought we were going wireless. Why are we connected wired to the PC right now? It's just for the setup process. You have to run the software while you're wired and plugged in. Oh, okay. All right. Uh-oh. All right. So it says here, router connections, Ethernet cable is not connected. What happened there, Bob? Maybe I didn't push in enough. Let's see. Power connecting and plug. Oh, Wait you for the click. click. Yeah, the click is ne needs to happen. And that's always a good thing to do is check your cables and see if they're all uh, plugged in because sometimes that's just a simple solution to your problem. Another thing you want to make sure is that you follow the power up sequence. Plug in your modem first, let that power up, then plug in your router, and hopefully that'll also solve any problems that you might have. All right, success. So we've checked out all of our connections, the cables are working, everything like that. Now it's time to go on to the next step. Okay, so it says on the screen, internet detection. This is where you are going to enter the information that we told you about earlier, your ISP a username, it says login name right there, and passphrase. Okay. So go ahead and enter that. Now remember, if you forgot that, you want to call your internet service provider and get all that information. Right. Okay. Now I have ours written down by the Smiths, and I won't share that with you because that is theirs. All right. Now the screen says internet setup. Mm -hmm. Estimated time to complete the setup is about four minutes. So just wait around there, be a little patient. Okay, so now the screen says network security. So your wireless name, go ahead and figure out a name for your network. We're gonna call it AP-01 for access point one. All right, then you'll click next. Okay, next. Here you go, it says wireless security. So right here, you'll have a drop down menu that'll say WPA or mm -hmm. dash WPA2. We're going to choose WPA, right? And then we gotta do a passphrase. So we'll Letters and numbers. So I'll click next. All right, so Bob, something I want to point out to you on the router, if you uh, pick that up here, look here oh, okay. on the back. All on right, the back. there is a button there that says, can you read that for me? It says, restore factory settings. Oh, okay, so if you ever forget your password, all you have to do is put a pin in there to restore your factory settings, and then you can start all over. Oh, okay, got it. All right, so we've uh, successfully set up our router, and now it's set us to the register screen here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and click skip. We'll, we will let the Smiths register on their own, okay? Good idea. All right. And it's taking us to the website, so here we are on All the right. web. So success, we have successfully connected a wireless network. All right, awesome. very good. No big deal. All right, now that we're all set up and we're on the internet, we can use uh, any wireless device, laptops, PCs. I've noticed here that this PC that the Smiths have, on here it says it's a wireless LAN card inside, already uh, installed. So I'm gonna prove to you that this is wireless by disconnecting the PC from the back. I'm disconnecting the ethernet cable here. And I am going to double click on the two computers in the bottom right screen here, which is going to bring up connect to a network, wireless networks. We have AP-01, that's us. I'm going to click on that because we need to connect to it. And I'm, it's going to prompt me for the passphrase. And we're connected. So now the Smiths have a wireless network connected. Perfect. A wireless network. Oh, wonderful. The internet is working, darling. Thanks ever so much. You, this is a true diamond. Bob. 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 Ah, ah, what? what are you doing? Uh, oh, hey. So, <laughs> sorry. Well, I, I guess we're done. So if you have any other questions, just remember to go to our website at hp.com support. Or if you have any questions about your router, just go to your router manufacturer's website. That's right. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Bob. And I'm Malou. See you later.